Hi, I'm Gary England, consulting meteorologist in residence at the University of Oklahoma, my alma mater. What are we going to do? Well, we're going to delve into the mysteries and impacts of El Nino that affect this beautiful planet of ours. And it is a prize, isn't it? Such El Nino episodes that we occasionally experience are normal. They happen. Non-linear oscillation, you know, it doesn't happen exactly every two years, it's every two to seven years, something in that vicinity. And El Nino is a part of a huge effort by the Earth and the atmosphere to redistribute accumulated heat from the Pacific tropical ocean areas to cooler regions. The redistribution of heat from one part of our globe to another has been going on for a long time. For example, recent research into ice cores with very sophisticated interrogation techniques suggests that when the temperatures are at a maximum, for example, in Greenland, then the temperatures in the South Pole, Antarctica, are down here. So what happens? Well, the research has shown as it begins to cool in Greenland, well, the temperatures in the Antarctic, the South Pole, rise. So it's that balance. This has been going on for years and years. Now, in this study, research data suggests that this abrupt cycle has occurred 18 times over 68,000 years. You can write that down and take it to the bank. They're right. The scientists on this project say this is most likely the redistribution of heat by ocean currents. Once again, kind of like El Nino, but not. But it's been going on for a long time.